Good morning, fellow gardeners. Thanks for checking out Selenocerus anthonianus, the fishbone cactus, rickrack cactus, zigzag cactus. This thing has several names, but it is a stunning plant. Now, it was formerly known as Cryptocerus anthonianus, and it's native to southern Mexico and Chiapas. It will get up to six feet in time, which is quite large, and each branch can be over three feet long. So I've just recently transplanted this plant. It was a gift, and man, it is definitely a fast-growing epiphytic cactus. It's related to dragon fruit, and I think it's got potential for being a great pollen source. Now look at the flowers here. Large, fragrant flowers. They're violet, uh, rose-colored, and they have white on the inner petals. Wow. It's also an early bloomer, which is another huge benefit. So I could refrigerate or freeze the pollen if needed. Now for care, you can see it came with this. So I had to agree zero uh, direct lighting, it will burn. I give it 100% indirect lighting. I water it about once a week and I do not mist it. So I'd worry about cactus rust. It's hardy to the low 30s from what I read online and seen. I've seen this plant growing in Southern California in my area. And for soil and potting soil, well-draining soil is key. So uh, you can see here, I've added quite a bit of pumice and perlite, vermiculite, and Fox Farms, happy frog potting soil. And about 60%, 50 to 60% uh, drainage material like pumice and perlite and about 40 to 50 percent of the potting soil and that seems to really create explosive growth growth on this plant as you can see so again the key is do not give this thing direct light you can see it's under a lot of shade and protection in this spot and it's just thriving so hopefully we'll get some flowers next spring Again, don't overwater it and provide it excellent drainage. And this plant will just thrive in our climate. Hopefully your climate as well. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time and support. Have a wonderful day. Take care.